This is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony Podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember, I talked about cleaning up any of that residue that you left behind yesterday, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually. I suggest you clean that up if you're down and out and depressed and angry. But you created that all by yourself. You're the only one that can clean up that mess. All right, I'm going to go over the list that controls us. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude, enabling, people pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself, distractions everywhere. Then you have nothing but excuses. Gambling, work, working out, food addiction, binge TV, phone, podcast, news, caffeine, surgeries, pain, being in a relationship with a man or a woman, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually abusing one another, and you may want to add to the list. Okay, today I want to talk about, I want you to, we're going to be taking an inventory today and write down um, from the time you get up into the time you go to bed, kind of like when you go to the bank and you get a bank statement, you see how much money you put in, how much money you took out, how much money is left, what do you have to work with. Well, we're going to do this with you um, to see how much time you waste and see the areas where you can improve in. And writing is powerful. Writing is very clear about what you need to um, eliminate what you need to keep, what you need to uh, step back on. Like, for example, um, when you get up in the morning and how long it takes you to um, get dressed, work out, um, do your house, um, where you're spending more time, where you should be spending less time, where you should be spending less time, you should be spending more time. And when you do that inventory, um, a lot of people say, you know, my life isn't working, I'm not able to accomplish everybody I set out to do. Um, because of um, I, um, in my own life, um, I have over 50 apartments, I do counseling, I do my podcast in the morning, I work out, I keep my food clean, and um, I do a meeting uh, once a week. And you'd be amazed how if you actually time, and I still have time to rest, I still have time to play, I still have time to be with friends, I still have time to be spontaneous. If you really manage your time well, watch how rich you become, and it has nothing to do with money. It's so funny, I'm so filled up with doing all the things that I'm doing, this is going to be hilarious as a woman. I don't have much time to go shopping. In fact, shopping has become so hard to do. I actually have to psych myself to go shopping and buy clothes. Picture that, girls. Can you imagine a woman being too tired to go shopping? Um, yeah, really, it's amazing and um, it's wonderful. Um, I'm so filled up with everything else that I don't need to be in the stores. I don't need to be spending money. I'm so happy with everything I have, so content. And that's all because I'm doing my inner work. And what, watch how rich you become by managing your time. And you will find out it has nothing to do with money. We all have plenty of money to do what we need to do. It's all psychological because we, when we're not happy and we're down, we always want more, more, more. We want more for our partner. We want more for our work. We want more money. We want more sex. We want more food. We want more drugs. We want more, 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 more. That hole that is so big and it's never filled up. It's about moreism. So take that inventory and start recreating how you can spend your time. What's important to you? What's your priority? What you want to change? There's plenty of time to get it all done. Remember, balance, not too much of anything, our kids, our partner, our play, our work. When we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, everyone we love is infected by it. You cheat yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect you will get in return. The goal for all of us truly is life in harmony. 
our thinking can make or break us. That is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. It has to be as natural as going to the bathroom or else, my friend, your head gets backed up. Remember, if you have an attitude, be attitude, being in the highest possible state of happiness and good humor and contentment with the way things are. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's a breakthrough around the corner. People say, oh, I want to be a, a help, be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. All you have to do is take care of yourself. Be that example. That's it. That's you're taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world. Doing your part. No exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Hey, you manipulators, smooth talkers, narcissists, your words mean nothing and your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful saying by Louise L. Hay. Addiction, you are running from yourself, not knowing how to love yourself. Loving treatment. Deep at the center of my being, there's an infinite well of love. I now allow this love to flow to the surface. It fills my heart, my body, my mind, my conscious, my very being. It radiates from me in all directions and returns to be multiplied. The more love I use and give, the more I have to give. The supply is endless. The use of love makes me feel good. It's an expression of my inner joy. I love myself, therefore I take lovingly care of my body. I lovingly feed it nourishing foods and beverages. I lovingly groom it and dress it, and my body lovingly responds to me with vibrant health and energy. I love myself, therefore I provide for myself a comfortable home. One that fills all my needs and is a pleasure to be in. I fill the rooms with vibration of love so that all who enter, myself included, will fill this love and be nourished by it. I love myself, therefore I work at a job that I truly enjoy doing. One that uses my creative talents and abilities, working with and for people that I love and that love me and earning a good income. I love myself, therefore I behave and think in a loving way to all people. For I know that which I give out returns to be multiplied. I only attract loving people in my world, for they are a mirror of what I am. I love myself, therefore I forgive and totally release the past and past experiences, and I am free. I love myself, therefore I live totally in the now, experiencing each moment as good, and knowing that my future is bright and joyous and secure. For I am a beloved child of the universe, and the universe lovingly takes care of me now and forevermore. And so it is. Trust the process. No more questioning. All I need is taking Al Hay, beautiful woman. Okay, I'm going to read a little part from my book. Okay, I'm on page 86, and this uh, this whole section here is on water um, and the importance of water. I think this is why some of the reasons why our bodies need water uh, every day. Um, the body's filled up of 70% of our body is filled up with water, and when you feel hungry or angry, or you're dehydrated, or um, if you're down, it's amazing how much water lifts you. I drink it all day long. And without water, I'm gonna read the whole thing, it's a long one. Number one, without water, nothing lives. Number two, comparative shortage of water first suppresses and eventually kills some aspects of the body. Number three, water prevents DNA damage and makes it repair mechanisms more efficient. Number four, water greatly increases the efficiency of the immune system. Number five, water is the main solvent for all foods, vitamins, and minerals. It is used in the breakdown of food into part particles in their eventual metabolism and assimilation. Water increases the body's rate of absorption and essential substances in food. Seven, water is used to transport all the substances inside the body. Number eight, water is the main lubricant in the joint spaces and helps prevent arthritis and back pain. Number nine, water is used in the spinal discs to make them shock absorbing water cushions. Number 10, water is the best lubricant laxative and prevents constipation. Number 11, water helps reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Number 12, water helps to prevent the clogging of arteries in the heart and the brain. Number 13, water is essential to the body's cooling systems, sweat. 14, water is directly needed in the manufacture of all neurotransmitters, including serotonin. Number 15, water is needed for the production of all hormones, made by, by the brain, including melatonin. 
number 16, water is a better pick-me-upper than other beverages in the world. It has no side effects. Number 17, water helps reduce stress, anxiety, and depression. Number 18, water helps to restore normal sleep rhymes. 19, water makes the skin smoother and helps decrease the effects of aging. Number 20, water gives luster and shine to the eyes. 21, water helps to prevent glycoma. Number 22, water dilutes the blood and prevents it from clotting during circulation. Number 23, water decreases premenstrual pains and hot flashes. Number 24, dehydration prevents sex hormone production, which is a large, large cause of impotence and loss of libido. Number 25, water drinking uh, separates the sensations of thirst and hunger. Number 26, to lose weight, water is the best way to go. Drink water on time, lose weight without much dieting. Also, you might not eat excessively when you feel hungry, but are, in fact, thirsty for water. Number 27, Dehydration causes deposits of toxic sediments in the tissue spaces, joints, kidneys, liver, brain, and skin. Water will clear these deposits. Number 28, water reduces the incidence of morning sickness and pregnancy. Number 25, 29, water is the vehicle of transport for the circulation of blood cells. Wow, this is powerful. Um, I find this with pregnancies, with people with pregnancies, they're going into the hospital at nine times out of 10. It's due to not drinking enough water. I find in my own life, um, it really does. I even down to watching the seltzer water, I started drinking more water even with all my meals and what a difference. I go to the bathroom more, I'm actually taking weight off. It does fill you up when you feel you need to eat at night. You drink a glass of ice water with lemon and it's amazing how much better you feel. The benefits just keep on going and going. So one of the suggestions I say, whenever you have like a tea or if you have a coffee, and some of you that have the diet pop or the, a pop, um, no more than one to two coffees, no more than one to two um, diet pops, no more than one to two uh, pops. Please, it's just so addicting. And after you drink any of those, you have a bottle of water. And drink a bottle of water with every meal and um, with your snack and watch how much you physically feel so much better. Okay, all right. We can um, all heal together one day at a time. Uh, it is a decision. Work on one thing at a time. Eventually, it will be a way of life. Don't do too much of anything. Balance is most important. Do one of these things for 30 days. And I uh, and watch in one year, you won't recognize yourself. I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts. What's controlling you? I accept today where I am powerless, I have control. Where I have choices, I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss the loved ones around me. I will show my partner how much he or she is appreciated and needed and loved. I will speak up for myself today, be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bow out and let go and trust the process. <clears throat> I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my food supplements, vitamins today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust and respect and be honest with them. Accountability is key. We cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will accept and say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I am willing to change today. <clears throat> I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner. If I become it, I will attract it. I will do two things a day I don't want to do to have a successful day. Those two things are always for me getting up early doing my podcast and the rest will follow 
we can all heal together. It is a decision from our head to our heart. You can reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my book and my workshops. If you want to learn about my services, lifeinharmonyonline.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my services. I'm doing the podcast Monday through Friday. Hit that colorful round button that says L. Hit subscribe. Please share with everybody you love and respect. Please start with podcast number one, number two, number three. There's order into receiving this information. Do it for 30 days. You will not recognize your life. And remember, I want you to have a groovy day today. And thank you for listening.